Hey, it's Dave, and today we're going to be talking about StreamerBot and how to do automated loop actions to, you know, use for overlays or whatever you want to happen and you don't have to mess with it. I've been using StreamerBot for like six months, and it changed the way I made content and streamed. Um, thanks to Andy Lippy and Nutty, honestly, they don't know it, but uh, they helped out a ton with their YouTube channels. Um, I'll leave their links in the description. But I recently figured out this little trick, and I haven't really seen any videos on this type of thing. So I thought I would share this on my channel. Um, I hope it helps, uh, but let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so we've got uh, StreamerBot and OBS. We've got a, these are fresh installs, um, so there's nothing in here yet. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make an automated uh, counting system. And it's, I, I wanted to figure out a way to do something like super simple that would give you an idea of like how this works. And then you can use it in your own way later. First off, in OBS, we're going to start by making a new scene. And we're going to call it I don't know, counting. And I'll zoom in here so you can see it better. Uh, I'm going to add a text source and I'm going to call this uh, count one. And we'll just do one. And we're going to make this a little bit bigger and then control D to center it. And then I'm going to copy this and then paste a duplicate, not a reference, three times. And then on this count one, two, we're gonna do two. On count one, three, we're gonna go three. And then count one, four, we're gonna go four. You can label things better than I do. This is just for uh, time's sake. We're going to hide all these for now, all right? And then we're gonna leave OBS and we're gonna go back to StreamerBot. So here in StreamerBot, and if you don't know how to get StreamerBot set up, I can do that in another video sometime, but honestly, I would recommend just hitting one of the links below for Andy Lippy or Nutty's channel. They both do it very well. There's several other channels that show you how to set up StreamerBot and OBS and everything else. So uh, we're going to go to the Actions tab, and then uh, we're going to start by just doing the counting actions like just the, the singular counts. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna hit add and we're gonna call this count one. And then I usually hit these always run because I don't have, I don't mess with cues because I'm a small streamer. I don't have a lot of people in the chat blowing my shit up, excuse me. I want everything to just run. So I'm gonna start by, you can go down to OBS and then sources, and then we're gonna do set source fill visibility state. Now, if you right click on this, it'll add it to your favorite sub actions. So that's where I have it. Um, counting and then count one, that's what we want. That's the scene, and then that's the source that we want to be visible. So we're gonna go ahead and make that visible. And then we're going to add a delay of 500 milliseconds, which is half of a second. And then we're gonna duplicate this, but we're gonna make it hidden, all right? And then after that, we're going to need to add this thing called set action state. So if you go to actions and then set action state, um, and then we're gonna, we're gonna just duplicate this and not mess with it for now. Um, let's go over here to this first action and let's duplicate this three times. All right. On this one, we're going to call it count two. On this one, double click. I'm going to call it count three. And then we're going to call that count four. So now we have all four counts. Now we need to edit them. So this one is going to be count two. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then count three, boom, boom, and then count four. All right, now we've edited all of those. Now we need to go back 
and so we have these action enable disable uh, sub actions. So I'm going to double click on this one and I want to disable count one. So after count one has been visible and then hidden, I want to disable it. And then we want to enable the next count. All right. So we're going to do this for this one. So count two needs to be disabled after it's shown. And then we want count three enabled. And then for count three, it's uh, disable, whoops, and disable count three, and then enable count four. And then for count four, it's disable count four. I'm clicking too fast. And then enable count one. Okay, so now that's the loop. All right. Now let's add another action and let's just call this counting. All right. And now here we're going to go to action, run action. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to run all the actions at the same time. Duplicate all these. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy with all the zooming. Uh, so we're going to do count one, two, uh what yes three and four all right oh yeah i did that already okay so that's all we need to do for this action now we need to go back and we're just going to disable two three and four these three are disabled so when this is triggered it's only going to do action one. And then after action one is done, at the end of it, it has these disabled. And one thing I forgot. Um, so I'm going to delay these. So I'm going to duplicate this sub action. So there's a delay of 500 milliseconds. I'm adding another half of a second at the end of it. So this is a full second now. And I'm just going to copy this and then paste this into all of these. All right, and always save your work. Okay, so now that all that's done, the last thing we have to do is we need to go into the settings tab and then go into timed actions. And then we're going to add a timed action and we'll call it counting. And then we'll do an interval of one second. And then the action that we're going to be triggering is counting. Select that. And now it should work. So if I go back into OBS, drum roll, boom, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Cool. So that's it. A very simple illustration. It takes, you know, a few minutes, however long it took to do this video. Um, I would love to know in the comments how you're using this, if you're using this, if this helped you. Uh, and for the algorithm, you know, give it a like and say hey in the comments and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and it helped you at all. Anyways, I hope I wasn't annoying and I maybe we'll see you in the next one. Bye.